Well, a bad view. Tepper's flaring between Whoopi Goldberg and our own Judge Jeanine Pirro, who sat down with the ladies of The View. My question for you, because Trump you talk about you, you talk. Listen, I don't have Trump God, derangement. You, know you said horrible? that when it was it's okay. be here end it's, up murdering the children of American citizens. You know what's horrible? What's when, horrible when the president of the United States whips up cities. people to beat no. the hell out of people. No. Say goodbye. Let me go. Carly Shimkiss with Fox News Headlines 24-7, Sirius XM 115, here with the take on social media. It's kind of tough to watch. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it sounds like it really only went downhill from there. Judge Janine telling Sean Hannity that the two actually got into another fight during the commercial break, resulting in Whoopi Goldberg cursing at her and then telling her to get out of the building. Watch. <laughs> I felt like I was less than dirt. I, I couldn't believe that I went there to have a conversation. I got thrown off the set, thrown out of the building, and as I walked away, she's yelling at me, get the F out of this building. What these people you know, have turned into is sad. What is happening? Mm, well, that heated debate lighting up social media with reaction coming in on both sides of the aisle. Charlene on Twitter says Whoopi showed class and more control than I would have. A lot of other people, though, siding with Judge Janine, like this Twitter user who says unprofessional, childish, just proves who has all the hate. You can have different points of view and have a civil discussion about it. And Tony on Twitter also saying thanks for standing up for what you believe in. Couldn't imagine being that outnumbered by both panel and audience. It's a joke. Uh, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, she apologized to the audience uh, during the break. She also said that she doesn't appreciate being called hysterical, though. And Judge Janine is going to be on Fox and Friends a little bit later. So we'll get her side of the story uh, coming up in a few hours, I'm sure. Wow. Uh, okay, Chick-fil-A is retiring the cow calendar. You know how Chick-fil-A uses cows to promote their food? Well, apparently they are moving on from uh, one of their most on. popular oh, items. They are sadly retiring after 20 years. Their promotional cow calendar filled with coupons for free food. So all these Chick-fil-A fans, they are utterly disappointed. Oh, and they are voicing that on ridiculous. social media. Oliver on Twitter saying, hearing that Chick-fil-A is canceling the cow calendar is very upsetting. That is the backbone of my college survival for a, a meal every month. I hear you there. I remember those days. And Katie on Twitter also saying, first uh, Toys R Us and now Chick-fil-A uh, cow calendar. She goes, my childhood. Apparently, she's very sad that all of her childhood uh, favorites are going bye-bye. I didn't even know they had a calendar. I didn't either. Yeah, they make, I mean, but I they try make not to eat stuff like that too much, but that breakfast fries, sandwich, oh my huh? God. So good. I mean, they, they're putting out some tasty food, that's Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. Thanks, Carly. Thanks, Carly. Thanks a lot. Let's bring in Judge Janine Perry. You already saw our host of Justice with Judge Janine and author of the new book, great new book, Liars, Leakers, and That's Symbols. right. And she, she was over on The View yesterday to promote <laughs> it. Uh, how did it go? Watch this. I'm 62 years old. There have been a lot of people in office that I didn't agree with, but I have never, ever seen anything like this. I've never seen anybody whip up such hate. I've never seen anybody be so dismissive. Here's my question for you because you talk about you, you talk. I don't have Trump derangement. Let me tell you what I have. I have a lot of. I'm tired of people starting a conversation with Mexicans or liars and rapists. Well, but you know you what's horrible? Said that it, when it people was, who it's shouldn't okay. be here end it's, up murdering the children of American citizens. You know what's horrible? What's when, horrible when the president of the United States whips up cities. people to beat no. the hell out of people. No. Say goodbye. Let me go. Say goodbye, and uh, then on the other side of that timeout, uh, Judge Jeanine was no longer in that chair. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> okay, so I'm invited to The View to talk about my new book, Liars, Leakers, and Liberals, The Case Against the Anti-Trump Conspiracy. And, you know, my uh, the, the publisher said, you want to go to The View? I said, of course I'll go to The View. I like Whoopi. I, really, I like them. I, mean, I have no problem talking about my book. So I go there, and, uh, you know, the first segment was relatively calm. And, you know, I got the transcript. And one of the things I said was, um, uh, one of the things we need now, we need people to talk to people people who ostensibly hate each other it's time we sat down and had a conversation and whoopee you know interrupted and said now oh i'm so glad but anyway that was almost prescient uh the second segment after some small talk i mean we had you know i was
was making small talk. I was, you know, happy uh, to discuss a book. You're my a guest. book. Right? And then we came back, and it was, you know, no holds barred. Uh, Whoopi got angry, and what, what the viewing audience, the television audience, didn't see is that they, they popped up the cover of my book as she pushed off the desk, you know, unplugged her, uh, uh, her mic, and then stormed off the set. So I'm there saying, you know, I'm in television. I said, I don't think the segment's over, but I think she just left, Janine. I think it's over. So I take off my own mic, and then I, you have to go down the stairs. Mm -hmm. I go down the stairs, and she's right there. And I said something like, Whoopi, you know, I spent my whole life fighting for victims because we had talked about rapes and all that. And she said to me, as she, she got up in my face and I read somewhere someone said well she you should have kept walking I couldn't walk by her she was at the bottom of the stairs she says F you F you and then I, I said did you just say F you and then she said get that F out of this building, get the F out of this building. So I'm there and I'm like, uh, okay. And you didn't do anything to provoke anybody there? No, you can ask the people that I was with. I mean, she she was nuts going off the uh, uh, the set. And then when I walked down, and so as I started walking out the building, so this woman is yelling behind me, get the F out of this building. I mean, look, I, I've, I've been a prosecutor, judge DA for 30 years. I try murder cases. I can go toe to toe with anybody. But that was abuse. And it was sad. It was a sad moment that, you know, she was triggered. And I never did, understood did she, triggering. Did she reach out to you afterwards and apologize? I know she apologized to the audience. She apologized to the audience, not for what she did to me. And they had no idea what happened when I walked off this you set. You haven't heard from anyone from uh, Yeah, no. A producer called. And yesterday, I was, it was nonstop radio and television. I was promoting the book. I haven't had a chance to return the call. But the producer did call. You know, so, I mean, what, is this just, did they hate the president so much that you were the person, you, you've been a supporter of him, so they're coming at you? Well, you know, I certainly think that may be it. And, you know, I tried to answer the questions, just yeah. like you would answer the questions. And I said, you know, it's another audience. It's the ability to at least talk about some of the good things that the president has done and the problems that I talk about in Liars, Leakers, and Liberals, which is the corruption at the highest levels right. of the Department of Justice and the FBI. And I have hundreds of footnotes in my book. Uh, it's an easy read. I mean, don't get scared by the footnote comment. But, you know, I make it a clear, uh, you know, it's clear what happened. Read the book. They didn't want to know. I, I got a question for you. Um, they're watching this over at ABC right now. If you were to look into camera one, what would you say to Whoopi Goldberg right now? You know, I, I guess I would say to Whoopi, you know, I, I've always liked you, Whoopi, and, and I don't understand where the anger comes from. I went to have a conversation, and I wasn't allowed to have a conversation, and I didn't deserve to be thrown out. I really... I, 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 we, we can't treat people like that. You just can't. We can disagree, but we need to be able to talk about it. Hmm. Judge, have said? you ever thrown anyone off your set? No. <laughs> when you ask someone to come on as a guest, I feel like you owe them the common courtesy because a book mm -hmm. tour is hard. You're going from place to place to place <laughs> and no. you're trying to speak to their audiences and you're saying yes to invitations and you have to make choices as to what shows you're going to go on. And for them to treat you that way, you're my family. I'm sorry that you were treated that way. Well, and I think as a guest in someone's home, that's it's just what the it wrong is. way to treat someone. Yeah. It's not fair. Yeah. You're invited into their home mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, to be thrown off like that was really, it was disheartening. Mm -hmm. America is better than this. America is the place where you have free speech. It, but what happened yesterday was a microcosm of what's happening yes. in the nation. Yes. And shut down and shut down. Yeah, as we don't want to hear from you. Yep. All right. Uh, once again, the book, brand new. It's what everybody's talking about. Leakers, liars, and liberals. Judge liars, me. leakers, and liberals. Leakers, liars, and liberals. <laughs> liars, liars, leakers, and liberals. <laughs> on the card. Wrong on the sheet. It is wrong on the card. It's wrong on the card. Not your fault. All right. Uh, uh, all thanks, right. Thank you so Congratulations much. on the book. I'm thank sure you. it's going to do even better now. Well, <laughs> thank you. Everyone go buy it. Right, earlier today, things got very heated on The View when Whoopi Goldberg rudely ended a segment with her own Judge Jeanine Pirro, threw her off the set. Take a look. There have been a lot of people in office that I didn't agree with, but I have never, ever seen anything like this. I've never seen anybody whip up such hate. I've never seen anybody be so dismissive.
how long has the deep state been there and who's running it? Well, the, the, I want to answer your question because you gave you had an no, you you your I, opening statement, which was how horrible it is that Donald Trump no, is talking no, no, about all you, of these I'm people. Sorry, you know what that's I think what you said. Horrible? You said, well, but you know you said horrible? that it, when it was okay. shouldn't be here end it's, up murdering the children of American citizens. You know what's horrible? What's when, horrible when the president of the United States whips up people to beat the hell out of people. Say goodbye. All right, here now is the author of the brand new book, It's Liars, Leakers, Liberals, The Case Against the Anti-Trump Conspiracy. You see her every Saturday night, 9 Eastern, right here on Fox. Hello, Judge Jeanine Pirro. <laughs> Anything going on in your life today? Um. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you, Sean. Uh, I got an invitation to go on The View to talk about my new book, Liars, Leakers, and Liberals. And I accepted the invitation. I was happy to have respond to their request. Uh, there was one segment which I thought was rather civil. I mean, they clearly are of a particular bent. Uh, but it was in the second segment that uh, you just played where I literally was thrown off the set uh, Whoopi Goldberg, uh, you know, basically said, I'm done. She pulled the plug off and walked away. But it didn't end there, Sean. And I think the sad part about all this is that, you know, uh, uh, I said in the first segment, we need to start talking to each other. We need to start having a conversation. People who ostensibly hate each other. And the irony is that I said that about two minutes before she started. And I, I, I just felt that today was a microcosm of what is happening in America as the left suffers from this Trump derangement syndrome, shuts the well, right down, doesn't allow you to talk. She asked me a question and then yells at me, yells about about Donald Trump yells about and when I try to answer she continued to yell but it didn't end there Sean what happened was I realized the segment was over I got up uh, and I, I just started I left the stage going downstairs and I saw her and I had to walk by her and I said whoopee I fought for victims my whole life something like that and she started cursing at me what did she, she say tell, tell everybody what she me. said without saying it she said blank you F you F you and I said whoopee did you just say F you I mean I was she was right here and then she said get the F out of this building and she yelled at me again get the F out of this building and I I felt like I was less than dirt I, I couldn't believe that I went there to have a conversation I got thrown off the set thrown out of the building and as I walked away She's yelling at me, get the F out of this building. Sean, it's sad. What these people you know, have turned into is sad. What is happening? Well, what's happening is they can't handle that they lost. Um, they can't seem to handle that the world's changed. The worst part, I think, for those on the left is that the president's success is, is causing them to go even more insane because, remember, there was supposed to be this big blue tidal wave. <laughs> Um, but the economy is setting record numbers. I can't wait till the end of the next week. I think we got second quarter GDP. Estimates are it's going to be pretty good, maybe even as high as 4%. Right. Um, which, you know, Barack Obama never had in eight years of his presidency 13 million more Americans on food stamps, 8 million more in poverty. Yeah. And the president's getting results. But there's no doubt it's a divided country. I've known Whoopi for years. I'm, I've watched the show. It's, it, frankly, it's become unwatchable. The ratings are way, way down from what it used to be. And the fact that they can't have a civil conversation with you is part of the reason. Well, you know, Sean, I have co-hosted that show in the past. And during the break between the first and second segment, I looked over at Whoopi and I said, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. And I said, you know, are you still doing something that we used to do together? And she said no. And then I turned to Anna Navarro from CNN. No one told me someone from CNN was going to be a host, which I thought was kind of fascinating. I hope you said fake news. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I tried a conversation to have a con and all of a sudden when we came back into the second block it was all hell broke loose and and I have to tell you Sean we deserve better we deserve better than to be berated because we hey, may judge, support the president judge look at what happened to Pam Bondi secretary Nielsen Sarah Sanders yep. look at look at the covers that I just showed our audience in my opening monologue tonight um, severed heads dead presidents at the end of escalators now 
it yeah. is the left is unhinged. They don't have a plan to offer the American people. All they have is innuendo, uh, name calling, the typical playbook, racist, sexist, homophobic, but, xenophobic. They don't have any agenda to improve the lives of people. But the it's not scary, a good time to be a the, Democrat. The and, scary and that's, part is people are going to think this is normal. You know, I wasn't just in a restaurant. I was invited to go there and speak. This is this is where people start to copy what other people are doing and what Americans it's getting dangerous need. out there. Yeah. It's getting dangerous for yeah. a lot of people. Everybody needs to take a deep breath. And you that, know what? You know, There's an election coming up. Focus on the next election. Right. And focus you know on what? focus and on your candidate and maybe me, I don't even want, don't, don't change. Just keep being as dumb as they are. That, that'll be perfect. Uh, all right, Judge, I'm sorry you went through that. Thanks for sharing it. Thank you didn't you. deserve it. By the way, the book, Liars, Leakers, and Liberals, is out in bookstores.